What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? And welcome to the Triple B Podcast, where we are blissful, breezy, and blessed. How are y'all doing this evening? I am not going to lie to y'all. I had to hurry up and get on this mic because your girl was watching the Grammys. And I was like, "Uh uh-uh. Okay, I gotta record this podcast, so let me sneak away. I already done watched, you know, the majority of it, but, you know, this message might be (laughs) a little shorter, who knows, but I couldn't go without saying something tonight. So, what I really felt in my heart and my spirit, and what touched me earlier today, y'all know I watched my service, and what touched me today was really being able to, to master the art of not worrying. It may sound so simple, but it really isn't. (laughs) Not worrying is something that I am currently trying to master. Because when you can get into a place where you don't worry about anything, do you know how many doors open for you do you know the feeling of freedom the feeling that you are not shameful of anything the the feeling of just being in the moment i remember i watched the other day um this talk show i think tamron hall and she brought on this seven year old woman i cannot remember her name but she brought her own. She looks amazing. Seven-year-old um, black woman. Beautiful. In shape. I think she said she could do an eight-minute plank. I'm like, what? I can't even do that. And I'm 22. <laughs> but uh, she said one piece of advice she would give the people is stop worrying about tomorrow. Stop worrying about what you did yesterday. And live in the moment. Be present. Live in the moment. Don't live your life always worrying. Always worrying about what tomorrow may bring. Or I got all these bills stacked up. I got all these bills stacked up. I don't know if if I'm going to be able to make it. I don't know my health doesn't look right. I don't know. I don't have a job lined up. I don't know. Or what did I do yesterday? I hate that I went back to him. Or I hate that I went back to her. Or I hate that I I said that to that person. Oh, I wish 20 years ago that I didn't do that. Oh, man. Don't worry. You know why? Because yesterday's gone. There's nothing. Nothing you can do about what you did then. Nothing. So why sit and drive yourself crazy because you're sitting and worrying about what you did in the past. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore. What matters is what you're doing now. What you're doing now. It's interesting because the I think that was yesterday. Um, my family went out to eat. And my mom got this fortune cookie and the message said, you are what you do and not what you say. Right? So a lot of us are saying we are this, that we are that, but we're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're not putting forth that action to be what we're saying we want to be. Right? I want to be this. I want to be that. But what are you doing to be that? You're worrying about, you know, I don't know if I can get there. Or I don't know. Oh, and all of that worrying is becoming what you're doing, right? Which is what you are. <laughs> right? But you're not, you're not. Doing what you want, what you really want, what you're saying that what you want, right? But you're doing the worrying. 
So you're going to be a person who just worries, right? And it is so important for us to not worry. I said this week, every day, I'm just going to focus on not worrying. My pastor said, (laughs) only thing that you should be worried about is spending time with God. (laughs) And when he said that, I said, wow, I never thought of it like that. The only thing you should be worried about is spending time with God, getting into his word, talking to him every day. That's the only thing you should be worried about, right? And I'm not saying neglect the things that you do in life and only do. No, 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 no. I'm saying don't worry about those things. Don't get upset. Don't get anxious about anything. Okay? So that is really what was on my heart to really talk about because it has affected me greatly. And I am ready to stop worrying. I'm ready. You know how worrying has set me back. I see others, you know, who worry and it sets them back. It sets us all back. So we got to stop this worrying, y'all. We got to stop. If we want to grow, if we want to be what we want to be, we got to stop worrying. Like I said in the last podcast, let God spoil you. Let him spoil you. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. He's like, all right, come on. Let me, let me, let me, let me take it. I got you. But you got to stop worrying that he's not going to have it. You got to stop worrying that he's not going to handle it. You got to stop worrying about everything. I don't care what it is. What it is. When you get to a point where you're not even worried about it, it could be something that people tell you you should be worried about. For real, for real. I mean, the worst of the worst, right? What people say is the worst of the worst. Don't worry. Don't worry. That's the peace we need. (laughs) That's the peace that I want. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for listening. I know this episode was short, but this is really all I had to say tonight. So I hope you could take, you know, what I said and and keep it in your heart. And and just remember, y'all, to always be blissful, breezy, and blessed. Y'all have a good one. Peace.